Welcome. This video shows Doom Roller's level editor, so you can create your own levels for Doom Roller. So the floor 5x5 five five and floor 10x10. 10 10. Okay, I'm going to put those down first and use the mouse squirrel wheel to zoom in and out. You hold down the right mouse button and you can pan the camera. And so these symbols, so, so this is a, the player symbol right here. So we're going to set the player right there. That's where the player is going to spawn in the level. <clears throat> this you would press if you want to, to delete something. Okay. And once this is selected, you will continue deleting until you select something else from the list. Buttons over here. So the object of the game is to collect all the gems and then you will go to the next level. And this is the enemy, the red square represents the enemy, the orbs of doom in the game that will try to uh, <clears throat> attack the player when you come with they will be stationary until you come within a certain range and then they will follow the player around. Uh, now these uh, green things are bumpers that uh, when the player comes in contact with will bump the player away. So I'm just gonna set a level up randomly here. Uh, now, <clears throat> these are ramps. So it means if you come this way, you're going to jump over here this way. You come this way, you're going to jump over here. The The back side of it's just like a wall. Okay. Oh. So now we want to set up a wall, like we have the, the ramp here for a wall. So if you hit the wall really hard, you're going to go flying off. Uh, <clears throat> but, we do, you know, we don't want to be clicking every single grid square. So there's a way to do this. Hold on the shift key, press where you want to place it. Over here, and there you go. Okay, so now we have a wall of ramps. And we can come over here and just take out a few. Okay. And put bumpers in there. Now you can use bumpers as walls. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it though, because <clears throat> when the ball bumps in the two bumpers, because you, it's possible you could come over here, play your ball up into these two bumpers at once. They're gonna be bouncing the ball back and forth between each other. And the, the, uh, what usually happens is you fly off this way. Yeah, you always fly off the way where there's no floor when that happens for some reason. It's like a mathematical constant now, but um, so I wouldn't do that because um, every if you have bumpers as walls, every time you hit the bumper the bumper wall, you're just going to go flying off, uh, and then it resets the level because you died. These are accelerators. The red one goes forward along the z-axis, will accelerate the player when you come into contact with it forward along the z-axis. Green will be a reverse the z-axis. Then you have left and right, and this one is random. Every time you come in con contact with it, it will shoot you off in a random direction. And then I'm going to save it. Okay, so how to actually get your level to load in the game. So you come to the, so when you install Doom Roller for the first time, it's going to create a Doom Roller folder in My Games under Documents folder, and it will install the level list and the level one by itself. Okay, so this, this will already be here. Uh, 
if there's not a problem during installation. Uh, so you come to the level list and like if when you create and you save a level, it will create the text file for the level here. Okay, and then so let's say I'm just going to copy this just for um, all right. I'm going to call this whatever. Okay, um, my nerd level. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, <clears throat> then you come down here, and you what you would do is you would copy this the name exactly. Come to level list. And you do that. And so after you beat this level, you it would then load up this level. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.